Greetings. Welcome to In-Depth. I'm DK Ronstar. Carnival is happening and CEO of Southex Event Management Company Limited, George Singh, he joins us to spread the word about Chutney Soka Monarch 2023. Thank you for making the time, Mr. Singh. How does it feel to be going back to live audiences? Fantastic, fantastic. Actually, it feels good because I'm actually here live in, in studio. Last year, I remember us doing this interview and it was, um, it was a virtual interview. But thank you very much for having me. It's definitely our pleasure. And one of the things that I like to ask in conversations uh, like this is, what are some of the things that you plan to be keeping? What are some of the things you plan to be going back to? Because you would have been able to reach individuals a lot further than Trinidad and Tobago while the event was happening when so, it was virtual. So we did two virtual years, which was 2021, 2022. 2021 actually opened our eyes to what was possible in a virtual environment. We were able to reach more than 10 million people in the first 60 days of posting our show, not, not only from the live event, but having it on YouTube, which was something we were never able to do with a live show because you only have the live audience in front of you. Um, 2022 was very much the same. So, you know, one of the things that we've decided to do this year, even though we're going back to, to a live show, right, is to have a hybrid right of of both streaming we can we intend to keep all the elements of that streaming um of what we did with streaming together with now offering it back a live a live event in front of a live audience which i think the artists missed eh? even though we had um our shows virtually i mean as you say raise your hand <laughs> you know it's gonna park or, or, or wherever you know artists were not able to do that so it was difficult for them to perform in front of no audience. Especially it's, it's, a different, it's a different kind of feeling. Because when you have an individual feeding off of that of energy course, of the crowd of and course, exchanging that energy, energy is something totally is, is different. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal. And, but does anything suffer? And in the same, the same way we use that example of raise your hand, the artist might tell the audience to raise their hand or raise the flag, but the person on the camera or the director might say, hey, get that flag out my shot. So do, yeah. do you say anything? Uh, that you may need to pay more attention to on a hybrid format? Well, not really. I mean, I, I think that the, the, the audience that is looking at the show actually has an advantage because there are things that they will not miss. If you are in a, in a, live, a live audience, uh, um, for example, looking at the show, there are many things that may go on. As you say, a flag might, might wave in front of someone and they miss something. And somebody say, hey, boy, did you see that? You know, but it's gone. That, that, and you have to go back now into, into that YouTube video or in the live feed, that, 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 you know, the, the rerun of the live feed to see those things. So I think those, that, that, that feed, that stream is very important. But of course, you can't beat being there. You, you, can't, you can't beat I being there. there. The was energy, the music, the vibes, the atmosphere. You know, it's very different being in a live environment. And in 2023, um, we are very happy to say also that we're going back to Skinner Park, which is the home of Chutney Soka. So what's the draw to Skinner Park? What's, what's the vibe? What's the, what's the excitement like? What's the significance? Well, boy, Skinner Park, you know, Skinner Park is where Chutney Soka started, you know, 1996. And, and I want to say something because I'm glad, I'm glad we're talking about Skinner Park for a moment. You know, a lot of people <clears throat> have criticized the government. They say they spend all this money on Skinner Park for, for FETs, which is not true, totally. But I just want to reflect on when I was a little child, growing up in San Fernando. You know, one of the things about Carnival in particular that excited me as a little boy growing up was going to Skinner Park for Carnival, Monday and Tuesday. And that's where the bands passed. So for me, Skinner Park was always a place where I went to for carnival. It was where everybody met, community, fellowship, fun. You know, you're eating that snow cone and everything. So I am happy that Skinner Park has been renovated. They, I had the, the opportunity to tour Skinner Park yesterday with, under, um, on an invitation from Udicott. There's a fantastic cycling track that's there, right? There were actually cyclists that were training 
while we were there visiting, right? So I'm happy to see that. It, it, I think it's a it, it's a fantastic facility, multifunctional, a multi-purpose facility. I'm 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 happy to see all the facilities that are now there, and happy that it's in the heart of San Fernando, you know. And, and it's I am a, a San Fernando boy, so. Well, I'm three miles different uh, originally from Gasparillo, mm -hmm. but at the same time, that legacy that you're talking about, be yeah. it for Chutney Soka Monarch, be it for something well, you're else. A salt boy. Yeah, man, definitely. Gasparillo is salt. You're, salt. you're <laughs> a salt man. You, you can't get away from that, you know? Definitely. Yeah. So, and, but even though we're thinking about San Fernando, Skinner Park, we also have, you also have artists coming from outside of Trinidad and right. Tobago. So, who so, are some of those individuals? Right. So, so, this year, Chutney Soka is structured a little bit differently. You know, we wanted to bring a show to the audience that was really different, exciting. I wanted to bring back some of the memories of the old days, right? We're actually honoring six Caribbean artists. Um, one, Chris Ramkalawan from Suriname. We have Terry Gadraj coming in from Guyana. We have Rupalji, Ricky Jai, Hiralal Rampatap, and Drupati making up the other four. So those six Caribbean legends are actually being honored. The theme of the show is Legends and Icons. Right, and there's a complete segment of the show that's dedicated to legends and icons. And we have people in that segment performing like Budram Holas, um, Rasika Dindial, um, Nival Chetlal, um, Ravi Bian Karma is also in that segment. So it's going to be a really fantastic, very entertaining show. One of the different things, um, we, we have our host is actually from, from Toronto, and we have two dancers coming in. We have dancers coming in from Toronto as well. You know, so... I mean, I think Chutney Soka Monarch this year is definitely going to be one of the shows that you can miss. It'll be lovely to look at it online, yes. But I think being there live at the newly renovated Skinner Park is going to be really exciting for people going back into that environment. Um, <clears throat> and it's something that I think people are going to really, really um, enjoy that particular show. And we're going to talk about all that potential enjoyment when we return. We are speaking with George Singh, CEO of South X Event Management Company, about uh, icons and legends, or legends and icons rather, Chutney Soka Monarch 2023. Stay with us, we'll return with more. Welcome back. Legends and Icons is on Chutney Soka Monarch 2023. And we're speaking with a Southex Event Management Company Limited CEO, George Singh. And just where we took the break, you were talking about that segment. And I think it's so important. There's so many individuals who have labored in the vineyard, who have promoted the culture, the vibrancy of all that is Trinidad and Tobago. And it is so good to see them being honored. And... Uh, to that point, you're making you you're saying that uh, Chutney Soka Monarch is not a fit. What is it? So I think you know I when when people refer to Chutney Soka Monarch as a fit, I, I get very upset because I, I think it's a it, it's a it's a it's a cultural show. It it is something you know I, I draw reference not only Chutney Soka Monarch but Soka Monarch and Calypso Monarch. These are very very important events. They are development. Um, they are avenues of development for the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. You know, when we started in 1996 with Chutney Soka Monarch, Chutney Soka was something that was considered a backyard kind of thing, you know, a, a country um, thing that people really wasn't paying attention to. But what we did is we brought it into Carnival and made it front and center. And the development that has taken place that I have seen from 1996 to now, because I've been there from 1996, the kind of development, not only in the artists, but in the entire industry, in the dance community, the prop builders, the producers, the studios, you know, it, it has just spawned into something that is really a, a phenomenal industry. And every aspect of, of culture in Trinidad and Tobago, the same has happened over the years, you know, and I think government has played an important role. People are critical of government when they fund these shows, but it is so important because this is what funds the development of culture in our country. You know, so it's important to continue to fund them in the manner in which they're funding them. Um, and it's not, it's definitely not a fed, it's a show. It's a show for you to come and mind you, the elements in the show is there. <laughs> you're gonna wave your hand, you're going to have a good time, you're gonna dance on the spot. 
So it's a combination of, of different things. You know, it's a combination of different vibes. It really depends. One of the things that really amazed me about Chutney Soka, I will tell you, is when I first got involved many, many years ago, and I went to Samar Entertainment Center, one of the things that struck me most about the, 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 the genre of Chutney Soka and the, the vibe of a show called Chut, a Chutney Soka show, <clears throat> you had Grandma, Mommy, Daddy, and daughter and son all partying together and it was the first place that i saw something like that happening where an entire family was 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 going to this particular show and enjoying the the all the elements of the music and today is the same thing and this kind of you intergenerational know, when, you see, when you go to weddings and uh, or, or, or family parties or, or something like that you know it's everybody engaged in this music it's not that some, I mean, some people don't like the music. And I always say, if you don't like the music, don't listen to it. You know, there's something called a playlist. You know, create your playlist and listen to your playlist. If you don't like chutney music, don't listen to it. I, I don't force anybody to listen to chutney music or, or soca or anything else. You know, but if you enjoy it, there are lots of people that enjoy it and love it. You know, and, and, and the families just get together and they have fun and it's a wonderful thing. So in terms of that, that, yes, that intergenerational engagement that you're talking about, and we, and I really appreciate that. But what, what are some of the things that go into organizing the show? And specifically, I'm thinking about people who are coming from outside. Uh, is it the same way that you would have had uh, people trying out? And uh, uh, well, let's talk about that and then ask another question. Right. So planning, a, pl planning the, the planning of Chutney Soka Monarch starts about nine months before the show, right? And one of the things we try to encourage artists to do in particular um, is not to run into studio at the last minute. <clears throat> so you find many artists in Trinidad and Tobago, not only chatting soca, but soca artists. Soon as carnival season coming around, all of a sudden they're running into the studio, you know, to do a song because they have a competition coming up and they want to enter the competition. I tell people, concentrate on your music, think about your topics. You know, we, 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 we talk to them all the time. Eh? Lyrical content is a very important thing that I have been hammering into them for the last 10 years. You know, <clears throat> um, topics that they use. Of course, my words don't get to everybody because you still have people singing, right? About things that they shouldn't be singing, right? But of course, I think that we've come a long way. And I think in, in 20, I've, I've seen it over the last few years, you know, and in 2023, we have some really great songs, great lyrical content, you know. Um, so I think that that development, that, that you know, that, that, that Chutney Soka is almost like a year-round thing now, you know. It's like a year-round thing. And, and then you, you find that the artists after, after Carnival, they travel, you know, as do Soka artists and Calypsonians, right? Travel, perform promoting the culture of Trinidad and Tobago around the world. And people are really interested and excited when these artists are coming into their town. You know, Miami, New York, Toronto, the Netherlands, London, Texas. You know, there are so many countries that they go to. Sometimes you want to Germany, you know, all over the place, Japan. And with that in mind, how significant is it that you think that you have individuals looking at the energy, looking at the genre, and wanting to be a part of it. So you don't live in Trinidad and Tobago, and possibly not even a space like Suriname or Guyana, where you'd find uh, a large pos uh, a large grouping of people who would just be, okay, well, this is the music that I'm for. But wherever that person is from, and they're saying, no, man, I feel that this is my music too, and I want to contribute <clears throat> it, and I want to touch the ground in Trinidad and Tobago to I be a part of this. Yeah? I'll tell you something. I strongly believe that Chutney Soka music is the real, the real symbol of Trinidad and Tobago. My definition of Chutney Soka, as coined by Mongol Patissa many, many years ago, is any song <clears throat> that has an Indian melody mixed with the rhythm of Soka is considered chutney soca. So when you look at those two elements <clears throat> that you're bringing together, it's an Afro and an Indo element of which, Trinidad, of which dominates Trinidad and Tobago. And it's a true representation <clears throat> of Trinidad and Tobago. 
you know so it's a it's a wonderful wonderful thing chutney soka monarch is also <clears throat> one of the areas that you would find a lot of calypsonian soka artists taking part and being accepted in, in front of the audiences that are there in a Chutney Soka show, more so than you would find acceptance in the Soka market or the Calypso market for the Indo artists. So that acceptance is, is more of a Trini thing. That, that's why I say that. You know, I always, and I draw reference to Stalin, may he rest in peace, wonderful soul from San Fernando again, came into a fete that we used to have a long time ago. Girls going white, you know, three o'clock in the morning. And it was mostly an Indo um, patrons, all chutney bands had performed that night. Stalin came in at 3 a.m., went on stage, and sang Black Man Feeling to Party and flattened the place. Flatten it, I tell you. You know, so it was just, it's just that it's so wonderful to have that kind of show and have that acceptance of both the Afro and the Indo elements, and you see it prevalently in <coughs> chutney soca. So in terms of but building and moving this forward, um, being able to tell, okay, well, this amount of people are looking from here, this amount of people are looking from here. Are there any things that you take to the table and possibly might want to share if there are other people saying, okay, well, to build a brand like this, to have an organization like this, what are some of those things that you say, okay, well, they need to be mindful of? Well, you're talking about from, uh, from okay, so, so the, with us streaming over the last two years, <clears throat> one of the one of the things about streaming 